That's right, the totally accurate battle simulator update is here. And as you can see, the tabs map creator has finally been added to the game. So what you're gonna get here is my raw reaction to the update. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new map. And as you can see, each of them comes with a blank canvas. And because we're making a World War I trench map, I think either the Renaissance, because I mean, look at this, this, I mean, to be honest, we could, I could just use this. <laughs> I could just use this for my World War I battle, but we're going to get more creative than that. And let's select the large map. Okay, so we, we really do have a huge blank canvas here. And by coming over here and selecting Mayhem, we get all of these options down here, which is going to allow us to basically just damage the land and make it look like a, well, no man's land. We can also select what kind of foliage we want around the outside of the map, I guess just for a little bit of like detail. This totally accurate battle simulator update, this new tabs map creator, man, honestly, this is big. This is going to be big for the game. Conveniently blocking this again, I'm going to come over to three and press sculpt and I'm going to cycle through the options here. In fact, actually, sorry, no, if I press R, yes, here we go. Okay, let's rotate that. And you see this one here allows us to kind of smooth it out. I think we want to go for a little bit of a rough look, right? I now just need to right click on the land and it's going to carve this out for me as a little bit of a trench. But I mean, we've already got the makings of our very first trench here. This is going to be like the back trenches, basically. This will be like the back trenches and then that'll filter out into the slightly more shallow trenches, which, which the units can actually shoot out of basically. Now you see how it's all kind of like messy and bumpy in here? By using the middle mouse button, you can see we can actually smooth out all of this terrain. Now that's going to be actually usable. And there we go. We've got the beginnings of a trench formation. Let's get a couple of buildings down though. So number one down here, and then I'm really, really blocking away here. <laughs> and then if we press this bit here, it will bring up a massive build list. So let's look for something that looks almost World War One-esque. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this some broken walls. Yeah, this is just gonna allow us to kind of set up so many different formations. Farm house type things. I guess this might kind of fit into the aesthetic over here. And then maybe the other one is kind of like over here. Oh, nice. We can pick specific dead trees. Now we can, yeah, we can really make this look like no man's land in the center here, guys. They kind of just look like blowing up trees. Okay, that's a good start point. It's slowly coming together. Also, let's just try out some of the mayhem commands. Oh, that's perfect for making potholes. Okay, these are meteor strikes. Let's just absolutely annihilate the landscape here. What about the lightning strike is also quite good for doing that. Like maybe we could... Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, perfect. Let's get a couple of really deep potholes here that go into the like, water at the bottom. I'm having way too much fun destroying this map. I'll not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. So we can just give the, the battlefield a little bit of texture so it's not all just one color, basically. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Now those look a little bit more like trenches. And then let's fill in each of these, like, craters with the same effect. And I mean, look at this. We're making some legitimate progress. We want like everywhere else to look kind of like natural and untouched. Now this thing here, um, I, I think it does loads of damage. So I don't really want to break the map, but let's just give it a try. Oh! <laughs> Wabam! Okay, so I'm definitely not going to use the volcano because I know for a fact that will destroy everything. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Let's make it kind of like darker and more gloomy just to make it it look more kind of like, so it looks a little bit more kind of like World World War One-esque. The map is like a little bit flat and uninteresting at the minute. If I make this like way bigger, plonk a couple of these down, I mean, that's actually worked way better than I was expecting. <laughs> that's, oh, maybe you can, maybe there can be a back passage as well. So if we make it smaller and we can kind of like, you see how we can kind of like dig out the land around here, make sure there's like a way around. Oh, we could actually, I just had an idea, could make a cheeky little tunnel. Everyone loves a tunnel so that they can then basically in theory go over the top or round the back. And again, we've got tools to help smooth that out so that the AI is not going to struggle. This is actually insanely easy. I, I, I'm actually shocked at how easy this is. Now, you see V and E at the bottom. What that essentially does is that allows you to lock in a height. You see how at the minute it's going, it can kind of like go up and down. If I press V, you'll see it will now hold that height. So, for example, if I wanted to come along here and get a straight line, I can now start kind of digging out a back of this trench, basically. This is actually a passable map. This is not awful. I, I really thought it was going to be 
the worst thing I've ever made. I do want to try the volcano. This is really risky, right? I don't know if it actually makes a volcano, but I do think it kind of just scars the landscape, which is kind of what we want. I immediately regret my decision. <laughs> I immediately regret my decision. Uh, but thankfully, pressing Z will get rid of that. Okay, that's good to know. What does the right click meteor? Well, that answers that question. I want to make this passageway like quite important to the battlefield. And at the minute, there's not really any use case for it. So I'm going to extend the cliff out this way a little bit. Yeah, and then what we can kind of do is this team can get up that cliff from this angle here, which I suppose makes that bit of the trench there down there a little bit redundant, maybe. Okay, I feel like this peak here probably wants to be like the highest point on the map, like overlooking the rest of it. it, it maybe it even can like overhang slightly. Okay, look at what I've done here. What I've done is I basically made this the passageway up for the defending team. They can also come along here and kind of shoot off this platform down along the trenches, but they can also come through this tunnel where they're going to have basically perfect range on the entire enemy team. But remember, the other team can also come over the top and then go down this way, or they can go down round the tunnel and through into the back. Basically, the intention here is just to create as many avenues of approach and kind of make the battlefield a little a bit more diverse so that they can attack from different positions. If it's just everyone runs into the middle and fights, it's gonna be a bit boring. Okay, we've got something that's looking pretty interesting so far. Now I think we need to just start getting a bit more defensive structures back here, make it look a little bit more like World War One. And here and again, these will all just be defenses for the for the wobblers to actually use. Ah, here we go. Okay, planks, actual planks. Oh, just make it look a little bit more like a trench, to be honest. And you know what? Maybe maybe it only wants one trench at the front because because this one's just, I'm not sure what this one's actually gonna do for us, to be honest. And it means that we can then get a couple of buildings back here and make it look like a little bit more of a military compound. I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying making this map, but I feel like there's so many tools available to you that like that you could end up just doing this forever. <laughs> I could be here till tomorrow. Okay, there we go. Now that legitimately looks like an actual trench. I've done a thing. Maybe this could be used to like to like bridge. Oh yeah, okay. We could maybe use these quite creatively. I don't know. Oh, that, uh, that, does that work? It, it kind of works. Oh, I should probably save this before something happens as well. Okay, new save. Uh, let's go for... I'll upload this to the workshop if you guys want it. Plastic Scott, World War One trench map. And then, oh, also add thumbnail. Maybe that. Maybe that. Yeah, that looks a bit... Which one was the one that I just took? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, save. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That made me nervous. That made me nervous. I thought that was crashing during the save. If I lost it, I think I would have put my fist through my monitor. I am curious. What happens if I just like... Oh! You can, but there is an outer limit. You can see there is an outer limit here, but you can build something off the back here. Hey, I just made Italy. Okay, where were we? We were about to um, burn this foliage. No! <laughs> okay, turns out that uh, also burns buildings. Oh my god, I'm an actual genius. I'm an actual genius. Um, and then what I'm going to do is then I'm going to come B, and then I'm going to get myself a grave stone. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. This is this is what we collect all the World War One bodies in. Nice. I mean, we're doing pretty well here. Like, considering this is a first map, I feel like, well, it depends whether or not it works. I mean, I mean, maybe the wobblers will just get cripplingly confused and nothing works, but you know, there's only one way to find out. Okay, so I think this is probably as good as we're going to get. So I think there's one thing left to do. If I press P, you'll see it will load me into the map that I just made. And here we go. The battle lines have been drawn. It's a battle between the British Empire and the Ottoman Empire. Let's just review the battlefield before we begin. It's actually awesome to think that we just made this in this video. Although on review, the trenches might be a little bit bigger than I thought they were. But regardless, our bayonetters and our standard riflemen over here are all ready to defend this side of the map against the Ottomans. Now, some of the Ottomans will be staying up on top of this cliff and firing down onto the enemy. And I've just realized they've got muskets. <laughs> let's swap those out with actual rifles. There we go. And actually, let's even out the points a little bit. And then we've got three Ottoman cannons down here with a bunch of riflemen and ooh, it's a small head. Now, this is going to be really interesting. This is the first time I've actually run a full battle on the new tabs map creator. Obviously, we've got quite a few obstacles. We've got these shell craters. We've got a bridge over the shell craters. The 
units are going to have to navigate the trenches we dug. And this is where it's going to get interesting. Can these guys get up the hill and take out the Ottomans at the top? And what about the guys round this corner here? Can they make their way all the way round to these Ottomans and flank the enemy? I am genuinely incredibly interested to see how this battle goes. And I hope you are too. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel. Be on the lookout for my Tabs Map Creator tutorial, which should be live at the same time as this video. And don't forget to search this map on the workshop because I will be uploading it. Okay, let's begin. Let's see. Okay, they are making their way down round the cliff and it looks like the Bayonetters are actually getting up there. Okay, on the underpass, the battle has gone down without a hitch. I'm actually really impressed with how well this is working. Minus this guy who appears to be drowning. Oh, no, he, no, no, he, he has already drowned. He's dead. Oh, okay. So these guys are having a little bit of a hard time getting up the cliff. Okay, no, actually, they've just decided they're not going to go up there. Where are they going? And also, let's take a look over here at the trenches. Oh, the cannons going into the trenches. Probably not going to be the ideal position for them. But look at this map, man. It's an actual World War I trench map in totally accurate battle simulator. I never thought I'd see the day. Oh, he got lodged on a tree. Rip that guy. Is he going to get the bayonet kill? Oh, there's somebody else. Where's the... Oh, no. Where, where was he? Oh, it was that guy down there. Okay, so this is the aftermath of that battle. The majority of them managed to get past without any problems whatsoever. The trenches definitely did their job, and I feel like the cliff in the middle and all the craters were actually a really good part of the battlefield, which made for quite an interesting battle. I'm gonna run that again, but just watch from bird's eye view. I just want to see exactly. Let's get a little bit closer so we don't have the fog of war. Yeah, okay, so there are... I'll tell you what, no, actually, the pathfinding is genuinely decent. This is really not bad. The guys are using the bridge over the crater. I'm really impressed with this. I'm really, really, really impressed with this. Yeah, so it looks like the, the guys are having a bit of a difficulty getting up that steep hill at the back, so I think we might want to just be a little bit more mindful and careful of the steep cliffs, basically. There we go, yes. Okay, so that is my map. This is the new Tabs Map Creator. I'm gonna be doing tons of these videos, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, join my Discord, and don't forget you can search for this map in the workshop. See ya!